when it wrapped up, was there a sense of were you was there a part of you that was relieved or yeah, had you I mean, used to it, it was it was incredibly rewarding and but there's a lot of moving parts. Like I'm the parent of five children, and that's way too much work. So like I, uh, you know, I love being a parent, and I love doing the Jim Gaffigan show. But it, it, you know, particularly being a parent of five children, I was like, I can't do all this. You know what I mean? And some people are perfect for it. They have the mentality, but I'm much more of you know, before I go on stage, I'm looking at notes. Before I'm doing a scene, I'm obsessing on the character's motivation and what the lines are because I'm dumb. So it's like I uh, having like 30 things on my plate is not something that's necessary, necessarily appealing. Uh, 30 projects is fine, but like being in charge of the whole shebang is not something I'm interested in. If you had moved into more seasons, would you have tried to take more off your plate so that you could focus simply on the acting or the performance? Well, my wife and I, we tried to do that, but the the Jim Gaffigan show, it was so autobiographical, yeah. and it was uh, about our lives, so we couldn't really outsource it because yeah. there were like aspects of it, you know, like uh, the character I played was Jim Gaffigan, the character that my wife uh, was portrayed by, her name was Jeannie Gaffigan. So we couldn't be like, oh, in this episode, it's really funny because Jeannie has an affair. You know what I mean? We can't <laughs> do that. Right. Whereas, like, but that's something we learned in hindsight. You know what I mean? And there were just, like, you know, it's, there's uh, biographical things that if you're writing about yourself, even in a fictitious way, there's kind of things that you're like, no, I don't want to say that. And so you end up writing it yourself. And you didn't have, uh, you didn't yet have like a writer that specifically, like, you know, Tina Fey has Robert Carlock, who I feel like really knows her aesthetic and style yeah. and knows how to write for her. Did you feel like you, ne you didn't necessarily have, you and your wife didn't have that yet? Well, it's not so much, you know, there's very talented people, but of it's course. not, yeah. so, it's not, it's not just a, a, a point of view or a, or a style or a tone. It was too autobiographical. Like literally it's like, your life. Yeah. You're literally, all right, so she's the Catholic mom of five, and like, then someone else comes into it, and you know, they're not going to know what to write. Right. You know, and you're dealing with comedy, and it's very personal, so it, it was... Like her mother -in -law, her mother-in-law comes to town, and Jim doesn't like her. And you're like, no, I really like my mother-in-law. Right, and so, like, yeah. and by the way, that wouldn't matter if I was playing a fictitious character, but... Then my wife is like, how dare, because our, Your mother like, her mom's going to watch this and go, what does this mean? You know what I mean? <laughs>